On January 10th, I was 30 weeks pregnant and I started feeling abdominal pain and as I got stronger and tears were coming out of my eyes, my boss told me that I needed to come to the hospital and I said, no, I'm okay. Well, she made me come and sure enough, as soon as I got here, found out that I was seven centimeters dilated and I was going to have this baby today. I was very scared. because he was still, he was supposed to still stay in there for 10 more weeks. And at 12.51, he was born, weighing three pounds, 12 ounces. I'm sorry, I'm gonna cry. Um, there was a bunch of doctors and nurses that were coming in and out of my room which made me even more scared, but I knew he was getting taken care of. Um, Dr. O'Connor, the pediatrician on call at the time, was taking care of him as long, along with other nurses, and he had to get ventilated because his breathing was very rapid and he couldn't control it. Uh, he couldn't stay here, of course, because he was. they weren't equipped with all the necessary stuff and people to take care of him here. So he had to get transported to another hospital with the NICU and the only place at the time, because he was born during a snowstorm, of course, the one time he wants to come out is during a snowstorm and there was no transportation available except Portland. Randall's Children's Hospital was the only place that could come pick him up. So it took him seven hours to get here so my baby was here for about 10 hours or so and seven hours to get back to the NICU in Portland. And he spent 39 days in the NICU in Portland. And I stayed with him. That's the good thing that I was able to stay with him. But my husband had to travel back and forth and sometimes in not so great weather. So it would take him about four, five, six hours to get to Portland. So after he got off the CPAP machine, all he needed to do was just um, gain weight and sleep, basically. So after that, I guess it would have been, if St. Mary's was equipped with that, with the technology and people and everything, it would have been great if we could have come back after that so that we didn't have to be so far away from our friends and family who we didn't get very many visitors because it was far away and weather wasn't great and it was pretty lonely. So it would have been really nice if he could have come back earlier so we could have spent it here at home. And he's doing great. He's very healthy, which is a very it's a miracle baby, I guess. <laughs> A blessing. I'm Chris Hall, the Chief Medical Officer at Providence St. Mary Medical Center, and I oversee the medical care delivered in the hospital, including in our Family Birth Center. As a special care nursery, we provide the specialized care to babies born at 34 weeks or greater. As the only birth center in our valley and the only special care nursery in our region, new parents and grandparents are depending upon us to provide high quality care for their little ones. Expecting the birth of a child is such a joyful time for families. No one expects to have a baby born prematurely or with complications. With baby Iker, it is because our facility is ready with advanced equipment and that we have highly skilled physicians and nurses that we were able to stabilize him while he was awaiting transport to the NICU. It is critical that we continue to make investments in equipment like the Panda Warmers for important infants like baby Iker. While not every baby requires a warmer, those who do need it immediately. The warmer provides radiant heat, has integrated oxygen, and a resuscitation system for high-risk newborns. The additional warmers will be placed in the labor and delivery rooms to allow for quick, easy access for clinical staff. As the only birth center in the valley, we are committed to providing the best care possible for mom and baby.